हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द साइंस क्लास आई होप यू हैव रेड एंड रिवाइज द टॉपिक्स सोर्सेज ऑफ लाइट ल्यूमिनस एंड नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लाइट इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल टीच यू ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसल्यूसेंट एंड ऑपेक ऑब्जेक्ट्स अलॉन्ग विद शेडो सो स्टूडेंट्स ओपन योर बुक एट पेज नंबर नाइन्टी वन and let's start our reading from the topic transparent translucent and opaque objects when a ray of light falls on an object either of their following will occur the light may pass through the object almost completely for example glass water only a part of light may pass through the object for example frosted glass the light may not pass through the object at all for example window wood cardboard here question arises why do different objects behave differently to the light this is because different objects are made up of different materials and different materials show different behavior towards light based on these materials objects can be categorized into three categories and these three categories are transparent object opaque object translucent object now let's start a reading from transparent object the objects which allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects underline the definition of transparent objects on your book students the objects through which light can pass these objects are known as transparent objects the examples of transparent objects are glass water acrylic sheets ew the glass is used in window panes to let the sunlight come into the house and to see the outside view glass is also used to make lenses and mirrors measuring devices such as measuring cylinder beakers and thermometer are also made by using glass now open your book at page number 92 and we will study our next type of object that is opaque object the objects which do not allow light to pass through them are called an opaque object students underline the definition of opaque object on your book we cannot see through them the examples of opaque objects are table chair books pencils coffee mug cardboard metals most rocks and stones for example curtains and wooden doors are used to block light from outside to enter in this way wooden doors and curtains they block the light to enter inside the room translucent objects the objects which allow only a part of light to pass through them are called translucent objects underline the definition of translucent objects on your book so students translucent objects are the objects which allow the light to partially pass through them the examples of translucent objects are frosted glass grounded glass wax paper art blood and skin frosted glass is used in window panes and doors to allow some light to enter into room anything seen through a translucent objects look hazy underline the word hazy and write down its meaning covered with haze 
Now come to the next topic that is shadow. Light always travels in a straight line. This is one of the property of light. When the path of light is blocked by an opaque object, shadows are formed. Students, if you place an opaque object in the path of light, a dark shape of the object is formed on the opposite side of the light. The dark shape of an object made on the surface is called shadow. Underline the word shadow and write down its definition. A dark shape formed on the surface when an opaque object blocks the light. A shadow is always formed on an opposite side of the source of light. A shadow becomes shorter as the object moves away from the source of light. If the object moves away from the source of light, the shadow will be small because an object away from the source of light will block the less area of the light. This will decrease the size of the shadow. Whereas, if the object is closer to the source of light, it will form larger shadow. This is because an object closer to the source of light will block a larger area of light, increasing its shadow size. A shadow is always black in color. It does not have any color. Length of shadow. In the morning and evening, the sun rays are slanting because sun is near horizon. Underline the word slanting and write down its meaning directed in sloping. Now, underline the word horizon and write down its meaning. The line at which the earth's surface and the sky appear to meet. Whereas, at noon, the sun becomes directly overhead in the sky, that is, right over our head. So, the sun rays fall straight on us. Shorter will be the shadow of an object. Therefore, a shadow is longer in the morning and in evening, whereas shadow is shortest at noon. The shadow is longest in the morning and evening because the source of light, that is sun, is far away from earth in the morning and evening. In other words, the angle between the source of light with the, with the surface of earth is greatest. So, shadow is longest in the morning and evening, whereas in noon, sun is just above our head. That is why shadow is small at noon. Let's read Do You Know of your book. Sometimes the shadow may be dark and clear, but sometimes it may be fuzzy. Underline the word fuzzy and write down its meaning. Having shapes that do not have clear edges. This depends upon the distance of the object from the surface or sheet of paper. Students, sometimes shadow is dark and clear, but sometimes it is fuzzy. This is because the size and shape of the shadow depends upon the distance of the object from the light. So students, in today's class, I have discussed with you transparent, translucent, opaque object along with the shadow. So read and revise the full chapter thoroughly and also revise the cross questions.